when you start to think about mining, there seems to be a ton of conversation around mining death spiral, as there always is in bear markets, uh, miners selling their Bitcoin that are publicly traded. Uh, how much of your focus is on what I'll call like more institutionalized or kind of commercial mining versus the individual just buying like a single machine and kind of plugging in and at their house or, or something like that? Right. So, of course, we're working as a generalist fund in the Bitcoin space. So we invest across the board and some of the pain points for miners are similar for companies of all types. And we're seeing one now, which is, um, you know, effectiveness of treasury management and planning um, finances and planning for various scenarios in treasury management. And so miners, of course, have been primarily funded um, by debt. And as a result of the debt markets drying up, we see miners needing to sell into a down market selling BTC. Um, but this isn't something new, right? We've seen this in prior cycles. And so it's just something that we need to get through. And of course, it also, when um, companies have financial pressures, it opens up new opportunity spaces, right? So um, we're looking to see if there'll be acquisition activity, if there'll be opportunities for new entrepreneurs to come in and to do things more efficiently or effectively or to serve clients, whether those be enterprise or institutional grade clients or retail folks better. And so that's sort of, you know, we're it's early, right? We're kind of, we're sort of early into this, um, this, you know, more like chaotic dynamic in the mining space, controlled chaos. And so we're just looking to see how that shakes out and if there's opportunities for innovation there.